service is a mental health program, so we support people um, that are experiencing homelessness in and out of boarding houses um, in crisis accommodation, um, and we work with them around kind of living their good life despite the presence of mental illness. And so people can identify as having um, a range of mental health concerns like anxiety, depression, PTSD, um, schizophrenia, psychosis. Well, we've had a lot of men and women who've come through and they've been very successful in their life. So they've come from high paying jobs but through to situations such as be it family relationship breakdown, um, addiction, financial, whatever the case may be, they found themselves in this situation. There's a whole plethora of things that people experience that all go hand in hand, you know. Um, homelessness, mental illness, experiencing domestic violence, loss of job. I think they all contribute to, um, to each other. Yeah, they're all interconnected. We see a lot of women who come through and um, they have been diagnosed or suffer from depression and anxiety, very low self-esteem. Um, I think what happens is in domestic violence relationships, um, the perpetrator plays on that person's weakness and really breaks them down. So by the time the women come through, um, they're in a very depressive state. Um, suffering a lot of anxiousness and anxiety and so it really um, impacts on their health and well-being. Both men and women that we work with experience domestic violence um, that then contributes to relationship breakdown and um, loss of seeing children or family, then going through court systems and experiencing that whole side of life. We try to provide them with tools and opportunities for them to move into independent accommodation, whether it's about um, maintaining budgeting, simple things such as shopping. Um, if they are dealing with mental health issues, it's about linking them to support groups in the communities, if that's what they've identified and that's what they want. It's really just about supporting people to identify their goals, hopes, dreams, aspirations. Um, and break those down and work towards those goals bit by bit. Anyone can change their life around, but it has to come from that person. So I think there's nothing more rewarding than seeing someone who's made a conscious decision to change their life around, put a plan into place, um, and ask for support and help, um, and then they move forward.